All right, you all know what day it is. You all know what day it is. It is launch day, and today we are starting the day off with the Red Flare, new kind of reissue upscale released by Estes. They had this out years ago, it was smaller. Now they made this more beefier, bigger version of the Red Flare. And we're gonna be flying it today. I'm flying it a little extreme. I'm flying it on the E20-4, so it's gonna probably leap off the pad and go really high. I just gotta keep my eye on it, make sure I can go and find it. So, that's what we're gonna be doing, guys. My Rocks 321, you know how we do it here. You know what we do here, so subscribe to the channel, hit the thumb up button, drop a comment, all that stuff. Support the links below, SD discount code, IN underscore 321. Go to SD's website, put that in and get a discount. Get yourself one of these red flares or something else. So that's what we're gonna do. It's my Rocks 321, let's do it. Here we go, so the red flare is going on a E20-4 white lightning Aerotech motor. So here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, fluttering out of sight. I see tracking, there we go, tracking smoke. Parachute is out. Coming down, may have a singe, that's falling kind of fast. Oh, I lost sight, you see it Marcy? Uh oh, oh I see it again, I see it. Oh, I see that red flickering, there it is. There it is. Wow, oh yeah, maybe a singe or, yeah, keep my eye on it. Yeah, zoomed off the pad. Hopefully a fin didn't come off. That had a flood. I think those fins, <laughs> those fins are um, plastic and it kind of like not a high grade plastic. So they could have been doing some flin flutter. But yeah, he's coming down. He's right there. Yeah, he's coming down. Let me see, I, I can focus on him a little more for you. Wow, zoomed off the pad. Quick, quick. That was nice though. If everything's intact, I think we got definitely got parachutes singe or something. Wow, and touchdown right there. Way down there. It's all right. Nice. All right, y'all. So I'll be walking and I'll be talking for a little while, but it had like a flutter sound. So that was those fins, I'm sure. <laughs> I just wanna, I can't wait to see this. Nice play on the E20. Um, it was in the comments that would it withstand. Um, I think it, I always thought it would, but I thought, I had a thought about those fins. Though. I was like, these are kind of a little flimsy, a little flimsy. They're not like an acrylic, uh, like an acrylic hard fin. They're more of the flimsy plastic, but that was nice though. That was a nice, <laughs> nice flight. So <laughs> there we go. Almost to him right now and almost to him. Let's see. Pretty good day out here. The weather here has been cooling down. It's weird in the you know, fall. It took a while to, for the fall to really kick in, but it's here now. And I forgot I had an altimeter. I forgot, forgot to put it in. Let's see what we got. Okay, so just at first glance, everything looks good. First glance, everything looks good. Got a lot of tangle. I thought I saw a singe, but no singe. That was just, no singe. That was just the way, I didn't know I had enough wadding, so. A lot of twist here, a lot of twist. The motor is still holding on, it's in there. Stay right on that hook. Yeah, I guess that was just a flins fluttering. I heard this fluttery sound as it went. Nice though. Perfect super flight. Wow. The red flare. The red flare, guys. A lot of twist though. Yeah, that, that guy would just have a twist for days to untangle. <laughs> so, but nice flight. I definitely will, uh, I'll take it. That was a successful launch right there. It's my Ross 321. You know the usual spiel. Hit the thumb up button. And um, we'll catch you on another one. Let's do it. Another launch coming up anyway. Here we go. The Red Flare. So you just saw the Red Flare. That was a great, great flight. Next up, we're going to be flying one of my all-time favorite scratch builds, which is my Mercury Little Joe 1. Love this rocket. It goes up on a C63. Many, 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 many flights on it. A lot of story behind this one. We're going to be flying it right now. Always brings joy, always brings joy. Let's bring more joy. So it's one on a C63 today, guys. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. My Mercury Little Joe 1 going on a C63 capsule and booster. So we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. Ejection and separation. Parachute, oh, parachute came out at the last minute. Wow, he was heading straight down, but parachute came out the last minute. Booster's coming down above me. Touchdown here, and booster is right here, pretty much at me. Yeah, 
Oh, they don't even need a zoom. It's right here next to me. What a launch. What a flight. Right here. I could have really caught that, but I didn't need to. Nice. Booster was heading straight down toward the ocean. Well, the desert ocean. Parachute opened at the last few seconds. I will take that all day long. Wow. Why'd you do that to me? Why'd you do that? You trying to give me a heart attack? What are you trying to do? But yeah, everything opened up. Nylon parachute. What's going on with you? But it opened up. I thought it was going to do, you know, you know what they do when they're heading that way. You know what they do when they're heading that way. It's a tragedy, but I will take it all day long. This is Model Rocks 321, the Mercury Little Joe 2, and it's Mercury capsule landed successfully. Wow, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Go on, subscribe, guys, and we will be right back with more. Let me bundle this stuff up. Let me bundle all this up and get out of here. So we just had a little excitement there. My Little Joe 1. Got a little squirrely and was heading straight down. Then the parachute popped out. Anyway, next up, guys, we are flying my another scratch build. This is my scratch built door knob. Made this many, many years ago from Peter Allway Plans. I think it was either Rockets of the World or was it Scale Bash? One of them. One of his books. I grabbed the plans and I um, was able to do my thing. And um, so here we have my door knob. Here you can see this for placement part thin. If you go check the archives, you'll see why that looks like that. I had lost that part of the fin, but I, then I rebuilt it, and then I found it on another launch. So I had the original part, but this is all glazed over, and it's on there good. I'm not even sure if I have flown this since this repair, actually, because that was actually maybe last year or sometime. But anyway, we're going on a D12-3. Should be a pretty nice flight. This rock is kind of heavy, so it shouldn't put it too, too high up there, but should recover, you know, in our area. So let's do it. Smart Rocks 3, 2, 1. All right, here we go. We got the doorknob going on a D12-3. Here we go, we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. Hear that whistling, sound like a bomb. And we got ejection, we got parachute is out. Parachute is out, and let's see what we got here. There he is, coming on down, that's nice. I will take it. There he is, heading over towards the sun. Coming on down. Okay, moving pretty good. Nice. And it should be touching down. Touchdown is happening in a few, so enjoy. And there he is. The doorknob just landed successfully. Another good one. Smile Rock 321. You know what to do. Drop a comment if you like that launch. We will be back with the debriefing. That was the last flight of the day, guys. Hope you enjoyed those. You got the red flare. Really performed on an E20-4. I will do that again on an E20. I mean, it's not one of the recommended motors, but once in a while, I will get a wild hair <laughs> and I'll fly extreme and I'll do my own thing. Sometimes it's successful and sometimes you get bitten. But today that was that worked out. The red flare on the E20-4. And um, it hauled off the pad. Pretty sure that was the fin fluttering I heard. So let's go on and observe the doorknob all stretched out. Look at that. Like a perfect, perfect straight line doorknob is laid out. You know that was a textbook cloth when they lay out like that for you. Perfect. It's my Rocks 321. And we will be right back with the debriefing. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, welcome back. Smart Rocks 321. This is the debriefing. You just witnessed three flights, three pretty good flights. One gave me a scare, but the other two were pretty much perfect. First flight you saw was the red flare on an E20 4 Aerotech composite motor. It hauled off the pad. It was, you know, a little, flying a little extreme today. I'm um, just with these fins. I think they gave some flutter, which gave it this, this sound as it was heading up. This is a nice, super stable, nice flying rocket. It gives a little, little whirling up as it, it kind of, I don't know what you would describe it as when it kind of just churns up into the sky. Um, takes off with a lot of speed, a lot of, you know, fury. The red flare is a nice one. I like it. And then when the sun's hitting it, you can actually see this reflective material flashing back at you. So that's the red flare, I guess. Um, Pretty good. Nice rocket. Good job, Estes, on this release. E20, if you got the space, throw one of those in there and you won't be disappointed. Um, yeah, the fins are on good. I, I think if they were glued on, they probably would have popped off. Um, but the way they got them locked in with this black ring right here, 
you are good to go. So the red flare without a hitch. Got a little dirt on it from hitting the ground from landing. But other than that, great flying rocket. Zero disappointment. Um, I'll be bringing this out a little more often um, just as a, you know, a flyer, man. It's a flyer. You don't want to fly some of your more uh, fancy stuff. Bring out the red flare. It's um, pretty tough. The body's not, it's a little soft. It's, it's about the same. Eh. See, this is a harder tube. That's a harder tube. That's an old school BT-80. This BT-80 got a little softness to it, but it's, it'll, it'll sustain. And it's kind of gloss coated. Give you that little re reflective material, but great flyer. This is a nice flight. Next up, I flew the Little Joe 1, my classic, classic Little Joe 1. Um, great flying rocket, but I did suffer a minor damage. Lost the aero spike. It got broke, I think, on that landing, and I couldn't find it. I didn't notice until I got back over to the launch area that it was gone. I went back and tried to search, but it is gone. Um, let me move up. It is gone, the arrow spike that was right on here. So I'll have to fashion something. I can make some piece of dial. I'll have to drill out that white piece, get a piece of wood that matches that size, paint it red, try to throw that spike piece on there and see if I can see if I can pull it off. But other than that, great flyer, always fun. But today that delay, it was just weird. Ejection happened. Capsule was under parachute, but the body was still was just nose diving into the parachute fully unfolded So that was a little scare. I thought we were gonna hit the ground on this one, but um, no rocket gods showed up on time and um, opened up the parachute for me. So That was pretty cool. Uh, this is a the kind of fit on this. It's a friction fit, but you tie the tape around So that's what you see me trying to just get this loose yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get it on screen or not, but I may have to, can I get it? I don't know. But yeah, yeah, I tied a tape around the end of the motor and around the, uh, uh, here we go. Uh, I might have to, yeah, that's taking up too much time. But anyway, the tape is wrapped around. I have to go in there with something and get it out. But yeah, overall, great flyer. I love this rocket. One of my favorites of all time. Just needs that arrow spike. It don't look right, that flat top. So I had to get that, get one made. But yeah, great flyer, great flyer. Last but not least was my other scratch build, the doorknob. Many, many miles are on this rocket by now. Flown it many times. And today I put it up on the D12-3, I believe that was. Yep. D12-3. Put it up there pretty good. Nice, nice flight. Um, yeah, this is just an old workhorse. As I was explaining before the flight, it had years ago, well, not years ago, probably a year ago, I flew it in my old location and I guess the nose cone swung around and broke the fin on ejection. This piece was lost, but I did find this piece again too late. <laughs> this was already glued on and done. So I just decided to fly it with the balsa showing. Just um, so I'll coat it with epoxy. It flew today and it held on, it held up. So it was a pretty nice flyer. So that was um, that was a good day. That was a good day. So that's the debrief for right now. But you guys are going to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you haven't already, share the video, thumb up the video, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Check the links. And watch this video that's coming right up. Smile Rocks 321. Salute to you all.